Assalamu alaikum and welcome to lecture number 23 for the course Corporate Social Responsibility MGT 610. What we're doing, we're doing chapter number 6 which is about framework for rating corporate social responsibility. So we're basically discussing that you can rate companies apni social responsibility initiatives ko rate kar sakti hai and what are the various mechanisms through which you can rate your corporate social responsibility initiatives. Now, the learning objective for the chapters, uh, for the chapter is to understand the importance of corporate social responsibility reporting. We've done this. Create awareness about the various reporting criteria followed to report corporate social responsibility. Understand how conscientious organizations are committed to the concept of corporate social responsibility and learn from CSR reporting frameworks of various agencies and organizations. Uh, first three points we've done today and I guess in the next lecture what we're going to do is we're going to uh, very uh, discuss KG Kwanse various frameworks hote hain jo ki various organizations ne obviously originate kiye hain ya banaye hain. We're going to study those frameworks and then we're going to also go to their respective websites and see KG hume vaha se kya insight milta hai aur hume kya vaha se information milti hai. Now, uh, some of the available accepted rating frameworks are some of the established quantitative rating frameworks that are available for organizations to report on sustainability. In ko hum discuss karenge. Ke what are the various rating frameworks? Now, you need to realize that corporate social responsibility, say, jo gains aate hain, they are generally uh, qualitative. Because again, corporate social responsibility initiatives, jo hai, wo aapki jab aap financial bottom line ki baat karte hain, profitability ki baat karte hain, wo haan par itne zada itli at least short term may reflect nahi ho sakte. Uh, long term may yes they can be reflected but not in the short term. So th what you're doing is okay, you uh, sort of making the organizations use these rating systems so that hum ko exactly pata chale ke corporate social responsibility ek kitni important hai. Do company corporate social responsibility ke liye kya kya initiatives le rahi hai. And three we need to link the CSR activities with the other activities of the company to see that their impact on the company's operations and other activities. Par kya hai. And then again, most importantly, I guess, these are all quantitative rating frameworks. There is no ambiguity or vagueness. Nahi they are all quantitative frameworks where you are analyzing all quantitative frameworks where you are numbers ke saath quantitatively analyze that the company jo hai, wo socially responsible or not, or to what extent it is or how much it is. Now the very first uh, initiative that we're going to talk about or the very first rating system that we're going to talk about is a global reporting initiative. Now the birthplace for this particular initiative was in the United States of America. It was is envisioned by non-profit uh, CERIS Coalition for Environmentally Responsible Economy. So this is an abbreviation C-E-R-E-S and it basically stands for Coalition for Environmentally respons uh, Responsible Economies, right? So that is what this stands for. And TELUS Institute with the support of the UN Environment Program. So uh, CERES with TELUS and in support with the UN, UN Environmental Program, UNEP, uh, basically envisioned the Global Reporting Initiative in 1997. In 1999, the first version of the Sustainability Reporting Guideline was published. The very first version of reporting guidelines as to what should a company do or what should a company follow or what are the steps that a company should undertake while reporting its uh, corporate social responsibility initiatives uh, was first published in the year 1999. The full version of it, of the same first version, was released in the year 2000. GRI, GRI is an independent body but has close connection with UN. Now again, please don't uh, confuse yourself in thinking that GRI or UN, they're, they're, they're together. Yes, they're working in close collaboration with each other. Yes, they're working, they might be working on similar or same projects, but UN and GRI are two different organizations. It is a network-based organization that seeks consensus from business, civil society, labor and professional institutions. Again, we always talk about the stakeholders approach. Ki. So what this organization GRI is doing is it's basically seeking consensus on various different activities and consensus up you can just because the needs of each of these stakeholders are going to be different and then not only the needs, the requirements with respect to KG, aapko 
आपको इन्वायरमेंट है कैसे ख्याल करना चाहिए एक्सपेक्टेशंस ऑफ ऑल ऑफ दी स्टेक होल्डर्स आर गोइंग टू बी डिफरेंट सो दिस ऑर्गेनाइजेशन जी आर आई इज बेसिकली वर्किंग विद ऑल दीज स्टेक होल्डर्स बिजनेस सिविल सोसाइटी लेबर एंड प्रोफेशनल इंस्टीट्यूशंस टू सीक अ कंसेंसिस टू डिवेलप अ कंसेंसिस विद रेफरेंस टू के जी कॉर्पोरेट सोशल रिस्पॉन्सिबिलिटी क्या है उसकी गाइडलाइंस क्या होनी चाहिए कंपनीज ऑर्गेनाइजेशन को क्या करना चाहिए और क्या नहीं करना चाहिए it is an uh, it offers principles and indicators that can be used to measure and report economic environmental and social performance so what gri is doing is it basically giving you principles it's basically giving you guidelines it's basically giving you a framework and indicators that can be used to measure and report economic environmental and social performance again remember jab hum control ki baat karte hain it is one thing to do something but to see if what you are doing is effective or not you need to come pair it with there has to be certain indicators ki ji performance level z hone chahiye once you have the standard uh, identified then automatically you can compare your actual performance with that particular standard and when you start comparing your actual performance with the standards or the indicators or the principles automatically you get to know ki ji aap kaisa perform kar rahe hain is your performance good your performance will only be considered good if it is very close to the standard very close to the indicators your performance is not going to be considered good But if there is a huge different, different, if there is a huge deviation between your actual performance and your uh, your uh, your uh, indicators and standards, so that is why आपको GRI जैसे institutions की बहुत ज़रूरत होती है in the field of corporate social responsibility because they are the ones who are coming up with these indicators and principles with which the actual performance of the company can be compared with and the actual performance of the company can be evaluated in terms of economic, environmental, and social performance. Now it prides itself with quality, credibility, and relevance. Uh, that I, I automatically mean GRI. It prides itself. So whatever work the GRI is doing, it's basically uh, quality. In uh, it, it takes into account quality because. बहुत सारे स्टेक होल्डर्स उस पर्टिकुलर इन्फॉर्मेशन को एक्सेस करते हैं बहुत सारे स्टेक होल्डर्स उस पर्टिकुलर इन्फॉर्मेशन को यूज करते हैं सो जी आर आई इन्श्योर्स इट वट एवर इट प्रोड्यूस वट एवर वर्क इट प्रोड्यूस इट्स बेसिकली क्वालिटी वर्क क्रेडिबिलिटी अगेन बहुत ज़्यादा है एंड रेलिवेंस भी जरूरी है GRI keeps updating its guideline the last updation was in 2006 balki when we'll go to the website you'll also see ki in ki last updation i think some jo inka G3 ka concept hai wo somewhere around 2011 mein i guess aaya tha and they're still working for the G4 guidelines jo ki unki most recent guidelines hongi and they plan to publish it uh, in the year 2013 the guideline is a free public good free public good book uh, free public good basically it means that anybody can access access it and you do not need to pay money for you to using the information which is available in this guideline so aap aap uski koi expense nahi hai companies can use it company can produce it and and apni social reporting ke liye companies in guidelines ko free of cost use kar sakti hain as of january 2009 more than 1500 companies in 60 uh, uh, countries use the guidelines so that just shows you ke how many companies in how many countries were using the guidelines which were provided by GRI and that would also give you an indication actually ke ji ab 2013 mein a concept of corporate social responsibility kitna important hai and more importantly sirf corporate social responsibility karna nahi corporate social responsibility reporting is as important as any other operation that the company undertakes again reasons uske kya hai because aapki stakeholders awareness bahut zyada hai aur hum stakeholders approach ki jab baat karte hain to phir aapko csr pe bhi focus karna hai aur csr reporting par bhi focus karna hai and it is because of these trends that you see ke ji aapki 2000 9 में 1500 कंपनीज इन 60 कंट्रीज थी अगर हम आज देखेंगे सो मोस्ट प्रोबेबली the number would have increased many fold it is relevant to all our organizations regardless of location size sector or industry so again aap ye nahi keh sakte ki ji i don't follow the gri guidelines or i don't know about the gri guidelines because i'm a small business in a small country irrespective of the country that you are uh, operating in irrespective of the location the size the sector or the or the industry 
اس سے کوئی فرق نہیں پڑا سو سمال میڈیم لارج ملٹی نیشنل آل آرگنائزیشن شوڈ فالو دیز پرٹیکولر گائڈ لائنس آپ کسی بھی سیکٹر میں ہو آپ کی کوئی بھی کمپنی کا سائز ہو آپ کی کہیں پر بھی کنٹری کمپنی لوکیٹڈ ہو جی ایل آئی اسٹینڈرڈ شوڈ بھی فالوڈ یوز ایز رپورٹنگ گائڈ لائنس فریم ورک از فلیکسیبل اینڈ از اے والنٹری انیشیٹو اگین یو نیڈ ٹو ریئلائز ایٹ جی ایل آئی فالوئنگ جی ایل آئی گائڈ لائنس کے ناٹ بی دے کے ناٹ بی فورسفلی امپوز دا جی ایل آئی گائڈ لائنس دے کے ناٹ بی فورسفلی امپوز آن کمپنیز کے جی انڈر دا لا آپ کو یہ کرنا ہے یا جی آپ پر لیگل کمپلشن ہے کہ آپ نے یہ کرنا ہے نہیں دیر از نو لیگل کمپلشن فار دا کمپنیز ٹو فالو دا جی ایل آئی گائڈ لائنس اٹ از اے والنٹری انیشیٹو دا کمپنیز وڈ وانٹ ٹو امپلیمنٹ دا جی ایل آئی گائڈ لائنس بیکاز دے وانٹ ٹو ڈو اٹ دیم سیلوس اینڈ دے بلیو ان کارپوریٹ سوشل ریسپانسبلٹی اینڈ دے بلیو ان رپورٹنگ اباؤٹ کارپوریٹ سوشل ریسپانسبلٹی نا یو مے آسک دس کوشچن رائٹ ناؤ کہ جی کیوں بھائی کیا ضرورت ہے آپ کو واٹس اے پوائنٹ جب آپ آپ وین یو ناٹ باؤنڈیڈ بائی لاٹ ڈو اٹ دین وائی شوڈ یو ڈو اٹ اس کا آنسر اب تک آپ کو پتہ ہو جانا چاہیے اس کا آنسر صرف یہ ہے کہ اگر ہم اپنا پچھلا پورا کورس اسٹڈی کریں دا کمپنیز ٹو ڈے ہیو بیسکلی ریئلائز ہاؤ امپورٹنٹ کارپوریٹ سوشل ریسپانسبلٹی ایز یا فائنینشیل رپورٹنگ کے ساتھ ساتھ انوائرمنٹل رپورٹنگ یا آپ کو سوشل رپورٹنگ بھی کرنی ضروری ہے سو دا کمپنی ریئلائز دیٹ وین یو ٹیک کیئر آف یور انوائرمنٹ وین یو ٹیک کیئر آف دا سوسائٹیز وین یو ٹیک کیئر آف یور کمیونٹیز آٹومیٹکلی آل دیز ول ٹیک کیئر آف دا بزنس اینڈ دا بزنس ول فلاریش ان دا لانگر رن اور جب ہم بات کرتے ہیں جی ٹرانسپیرنسی کی اکاؤنٹیبلٹی کی آنیسٹی کی انٹیگرٹی کی ڈسکلوزرس کی تو جو آپ کی جتنی بھی کارپوریٹ سوشل ریسپانسبلٹی انیشیٹو ہوں گے آپ ان کو ڈسکلوز کریں گے تھرو دس رپورٹنگ فریم ورک تھرو دیز رپورٹنگ guidelines so that transparency her action will have your stakeholders know exactly where their money is being utilized even if it is being utilized in social responsibility initiatives and then achha hoga ho achhi ye baat bhi hoti hai ki ji sabko pata hai kitna paisa kahan utilize ho raha hai kaise utilize ho raha hai kaun log usko utilize kar rahe hain taki pura process jo hai wo transparent ho aur usme koi problem na aaye now next is i'm going to show you the website for gri but before i do that let's let's do this first features of reporting methodology ki aap kis tarike se apne corporate social responsibility initiatives ko ya apne social actions ko aap kis tarike se report karte hain now the principles for defining report content is ki jab aap report banate hain puri to aap uske andar jo content dalenge jo information dalenge wo wo unke characteristic kya hone chahiye unke features kya hone chahiye the very first thing is material مٹیریلٹی بھی کہہ سکتے ہیں اس کو دیٹ از میجر کانٹینٹ آف دا رپورٹ اینڈ ٹاپکس اٹ ریفلیکٹ آرگنائزیشن اکنامک سوشل اینڈ انوائرمنٹل امپیکٹ سو وین وین آئی سی کہ جی آپ کی رپورٹنگ میں مٹیریل ہونا چاہیے دیٹ بیسکلی مینس ایٹ ون اٹ شوڈ دا مٹیریل شوڈ بی دا میجر پورشن آف دا رپورٹ یہ نہ ہو کہ جی آپ نے اس کی انٹروڈکشن میں بہت فلاوری لینگویج یوز کی ہو اس کی کنکلوژن میں بہت فلاوری لینگویج یوز کی ہو جو اور جو امپورٹنٹ مٹیریل ہے وہ آپ کی رپورٹ میں سے مسنگ ہوئے دیٹ از دا کیس اینڈ دیٹ از ناٹ دا رائٹ وے آف رپورٹنگ یور انیشیٹو دا رائٹ وے آف ڈوئنگ اٹ از دیٹ دا ٹاپکس اینڈ دا انفارمیشن دیٹ از دیر ان دا ان دا رپورٹ شوڈ ریفلیکٹ دا آرگنائزیشن اکنامک امپیکٹ it should reflect the organizational social performance and should also reflect the organization's environmental performance as well so that is what is important next is stakeholders inclusiveness the report should identify who are the stakeholders again yahan par pe aapka bahut important role aata hai ki aap jis tarah humne aapke primary secondary social and primary secondary non social stakeholders ki baat ki thi that's the reason that we're teaching you this ki kal ko when you become entrepreneurs and when you become managers and then when you need to uh, use uh, gri guidelines in your organizations and and use them for reporting purposes it should be or you should be very clear as who your stakeholders are and that is what this is you need to identify your stakeholders how the organization has responded to expectations and interest of the stakeholders so that's the second part that should be there in the report one aapne apne stake holders identify kar liye then you also need to uh, be very clear as to how the organization is fulfilling or how the organization is meeting the expectations of the stakeholders and how the organization is is meeting the interests of the stakeholders jo in jo stakeholders ki needs hai jo stakeholders ki wants hai unko kaise organization cater for 
کر رہی ہے دین سسٹینیبلٹی کانٹیکس آ جاتا ہے آپ کے آپ کے آپ کے آرگنائزیشنس میں جو جو آپریشنس ہو رہے ہیں جو جو فنکشنل ایریاز ہو رہے ہیں جس پر کام ہو رہا ہے مارکیٹنگ فائنانس ایچ آر پروڈکشن انوینٹری ریسورسز ہیومن ریسورسز پروکیورمنٹ ان سب میں سسٹینیبلٹی کا کتنا کانسیپٹ ہے ان سب میں سسٹینیبلٹی جو ہے کیا وہ کیا وہ ان کے اندر انکارپوریٹڈ ہے یا ان کے اندر انکارپوریٹڈ نہیں ہے اور اس میں آئی گیس یور فلو چارٹس کین پلے اے ویری ویری امپورٹنٹ رول ہے ارگنائزیشنز پرفارمنس ان دا کانٹیکس آف سسٹینیبلٹی سو آپ نے سسٹینیبلٹی کانٹیکس کیا کہ جی یہ ساری ہماری ایکٹیوٹیز ہیں دیز آر دا کور فنکشنز آف دی ارگنائزیشنز اور اس میں ہم کس طریقے سے سسٹینیبلٹی کی بات کرتے ہیں فار اگزامپل یو کین سی کہ جی جب ہم پروکیورمنٹ کرتے ہیں تو آپ ایسے کیسے آپ کس طریقے سے پروکیورمنٹ کریں گے جس کے کوئی نیگیٹو سوشل کوئی نیگیٹو انوائرمنٹل امپیکٹ Now, now once you've identified the sustainability context and you need to um, see that your organization ki performance hai, where is that with reference to the context of sustainability. Ek to ta ki ji, ideally hume ye kaam karna chahiye. Right? Then you do, you basically apni organization performance ko dekhte hai ki wo ideal se kitne kareeb ya kitne dur hai. And then the report should also be complete. It should not be half. Ek initiative ki baat ki bas isko summarized form mein aapne explain kar diya and that's about it. It should not be that. The, the report should be a complete report. Now, What are the ab ye jo sare materiality stakeholders inclusiveness sustainability context organization performance and completeness they were all with reference to defining the report content ke jo information aap report mein include karenge jo cheeze aap report ke jo cheeze report content hongi usme materiality in stakeholders inclusiveness uh, sustainability context organization performance or completeness honi chahiye now the other thing is that the principles for ensuring report quality you need to ensure that the quality of report is good because if the quality of the report is not going to cook is not going to be good then automatically it can never be effective Now, in order to ensure quality what are the various uh, what are the various things that you should see first up is balance positive and negative aspect of the organization performance positives kya the organization performance mein negatives kya the organization performance mein if your organization has impacted the environment or the society in a negative manner then that should be clearly disclosed in the uh, in the in the report as well and now this is a this is an example of transparency because and that's what balancing is about because jab aap transparent ki baat karte hain aapne jo acha kaam kiya aapne jo ganda kaam kiya aapne jo sahi kaam nahi kiya automatically wo aapko sabko sabke sab kaamon ko you have to report all of those right so the report should be a balanced report that means that it should be a balance between the positives and the negatives now just for the sake of example assume that you open up a report and you see that everything that the organization done was good everything that the organization did was according to so the, the right kind of guidelines or organization just perfect what are you going to feel you're going to look at it and say kahin kuch ghapla hai har cheez sahi nahi ho sakti aapki socio economic environment aisi thi aapki political environment aisi thi aapko ye masle pade ye chutti hui ye problem hui how is it possible ki is organization mein sab kuch ideal tha that is why aapko positives or negatives mention karne zaruri hain so that the report is balanced if everything is all good then there's something wrong with the organization if everything is all bad or all is negative then again there's something wrong with the organization kyunki kabhi bhi aapko koi bhi aisi situation nahi milti jahan par har cheez achhi ya har cheez puri ho it's always a balance between the good and the bad maybe there's going to be more good and less bad or vice versa that there's going to be more bad and less good but there's always going to be a balance so the same should be Uh, reflected in the report as well comparability information should be selected compiled and reported consistently ye to bahut zyada zaruri hai with reference to csr reporting because whenever you are doing csr reporting what you're doing is you will have to compare your results with what your company did in the previous years to agar main 2013 mein agar main csr reporting karti hu for comparison purposes to see ki ji acha kaam hua ya acha kaam nahi hua i will compare the results of 2013 with 2012 2011 and 2010 aur jab main in pichle teeno saal se compare karungi only then i would be able to see if my uh, if the performance of my company with respect to corporate social responsibility did it improve or not did i did i mai uh, maine kaam behtar kiya ya nahi kiya so the the information that is included in the report should be selected in such a manner should be compiled in such 
a manner and then it should be reported in such a manner that comparability becomes easy and then again you're not only comparing your own company's performance with uh, within the last let's say four or five years but then you're also comparing your company's social initiative or your company's uh, rating with other countries as well to see KG with respect to the industry with respect to the sector aapki company kitni aage aur kiriya kitni piche hai so that is what comparability uh, means next is accuracy aapki aapki report mein jo jo information hai that should be accurate na exaggerated hone chahiye na na jaisi information hai waise hi reflect hone chahiye next is timeliness remember uh, timeliness ke bare mein generally aap jab bhi time factor ko study karenge yahi baat hoti hai ki if a thing is not done on time ya pehle kar di jaye ya der mein kar di jaye it does not have the same effect and that is what timeliness means that the report should be such that it should be timely it should be uh, given the, the things should be reported when they are needed agar us specific time par when the things are needed agar aap us time par reporting nahi karenge then aapki jo reporters ki timeliness khatam ho jayegi baad mein ya pehle uski zarurat nahi hai uski zarurat us point in time par hai jab ke logon ko uski zarurat hai so timeliness of a report is extremely important next is clarity That basically means that the report we are making is clear and that should be understandable and that should be accessible. And then, and again. अगर आप बहुत ज़्यादा ऐसी जागन यूज़ कर रहे हैं विच विच पीपल डोंट रिकगनाइज एंड विच पीपल डोंट नो नॉट ऑटोमेटिकली उस रिपोर्टिंग के आपको कोई फ़ायदा नहीं है रिमेंबर इन वन ऑफ द अर्लियर चैप्टर्स हमने ये बात डिस्कस की थी कि हम जब गवर्नमेंट रोल की बात कर रहे थे एंड वी सेट दैट इट इज़ नॉट कि गवर्नमेंट का काम सिर्फ ये है कि वैसे रूल्स रेगुलेशन बनाए विच मेक्स विच विच सॉट ऑफ pushes the corporations to become more socially active but we also said the government ka ek bahut important role ye bhi hai ki wo aapke citizens ko and individuals and people ko awareness de to understand the reports that the companies are preparing and submitting because company ne to report bana li lekin agar usko koi understand nahi kar sakta aur agar usko koi samajh mein usko koi samajh nahi sakta then the information given in that report is useless you don't want that information because you can't understand that information so it becomes extremely important ke jo bhi report writing ho wo clear ho aur wo understandable ho so that everybody a layman could understand what you're talking about and finally there should be reliability in the report reliability is gathered recorded compiled analyzed and disclosed in a way that uh, could be subjected to examination and that establishes quality of the information so reliability ka matlab ye hai ki aap ab bahut sari information ko cater for kar rahe honge you would be you would be gathering information you would be recording information you would be compiling information you would be analyzing information and you would be disclosing information as well now ye pure panch char panch processes from gathering to disclosure ye aise hone chahiye that you should be sure and confident about yourself ek kal ko agar is report ko koi examine bhi kar lega there is going to be no fault in it the report is completely reliable and jab aapko ye confidence aapko apni reporting par aa jata hai then automatically that's going to result or that is going to establish quality of the information because aap tabhi apni uh, uh, क्वालिटी ऑफ योर इन्फॉर्मेशन के बारे में कॉन्फिडेंट होंगे जब आपको पता होगा कि आपने सही तरीके से गैदर की है सही तरीके से रिकॉर्ड किया एनालाइज किया कंपाइल किया डिस्क्लोज किया एंड ऑन दी अदर हैंड इफ यू वुड नॉट फील कॉन्फिडेंट अबाउट ऑल दी स्टेप्स एंड यू वुड से नई पूरी इन्फॉर्मेशन नहीं है नई गैदरिंग में प्रॉब्लम पड़ी है डिस्कलोजर्स में प्रॉब्लम है इसको उसकी रिपोर्टिंग में इशू है दिन ऑटोमेटिकली यू विल नॉट सिंस यू विल नॉट बी कॉन्फिडेंट अबाउट द रिपोर्ट यू वुड ऑटोमेटिकली वुड वॉन्ट टू सॉर्ट ऑफ नॉट डिस्कलोज इट एंड हाइड इट एंड एंड नॉट वुड you you would not want other people to see it so automatically uski quality jo hai wo questionable ho jati hai so whenever aur uh, jab aap gri uh, guidelines ko use karte hain unko use karte hue jab uh, companies corporations jo hai wo reporting karti hain ya reports banati hain these are the principles that the companies uh, should look at one is the principles for defining report content ki report mein 
کانٹینٹ میں کیا کیا چیزیں ہونی چاہیے مٹیریالٹی اسٹیک ہولڈرز انکلوسیونس سسٹینیبلٹی کانٹیکس آرگنائزیشن پرفارمنس ان دا کانٹیکس آف سسٹینیبلٹی اینڈ کمپلیٹنیس اینڈ دی ادر تھنگ از کہ جب آپ رپورٹ کوالٹی کی بات کریں گے سو اٹس اباؤٹ رپورٹ کانٹینٹ اینڈ رپورٹ کوالٹی جب بھی کوئی بھی رپورٹ بنے گی کیپنگ ان مائنڈ دا جی آر آئی گائڈ لائنس اٹس گوئنگ ٹو بی رپورٹ کانٹینٹ جن کی ہم پہلے بات کر چکے اینڈ اٹ از گوئنگ ٹو بی واٹ از امپورٹنٹ از رپورٹ کوالٹی وچ از گوئنگ ٹو انکلوڈ تھنگس لائک بیلنس کمپیریبلٹی ایکوریسی ٹائم لینس کلیئرٹی اینڈ ریلائبلٹی سو کانٹینٹ میں آپ کی وہ والی چیزیں ہیں جو ہم پہلے ڈسکس کر چکے اور کوالٹی میں آپ کی یہ چھ چیزیں ہیں جن کو ہم نے ابھی ڈسکس کر لیا سو دیٹ از وٹ دا جی آر آئی کے ہم نے بارے میں گلوبل رپورٹنگ انیشیٹو کے بارے میں ہم نے آپ سے ڈسکس کیا نو وٹ آئی ایم گوئنگ ٹو شو یو نیکسٹ از دا ویب سائٹ فار جی آر آئی جنرلی اٹس اے ویری آپ اس کو آپ خود اس کو ایکسیسبل کر سکتے ہیں دا انفارمیشن از ناٹ سم تھنگ جو کہ جو کہ پروٹیکٹڈ ہے یو کین جسٹ رائٹ جی آر آئی آن دا گوگل سرچ پار اینڈ یو شوڈ بی ایبل ٹو گو دیر بٹ لس لیٹس جس گو دیر ٹو کیدر اگر آئیڈیل یہ ہوگا کہ آپ کے اگر لیپ ٹاپ سے کمپیوٹرز آپ کے پاس ہیں سو جسٹ اوپن آپ آئی ایم شیور آپ یہ سیریز بھی انہیں کے تھرو دیکھ رہے ہیں بٹ سر جسٹ میری سائٹ کو یا میرے لیکچر کو آپ مینیمائز کر لیجیے and uh, just go through uh, the website with me uh, ideal ye hai ke mere lecture ko minimize kijiye so that you can just hear my voice and meanwhile we can go to the gri uh, website together and see us website par kya kya hai and it's just going to give us an insight ke ji aapke reporting initiatives kya hain aur wo kin kin areas mein kaam kar rahe hain unka purpose kya hai so if you're all ready we can go there now this is the global reporting initiatives website right and this is where i would want each and every one of you to go to and so that we can we can look through it together discover it together and see ke iske andar kya cheeze hain aur iske andar kya cheeze nahi hain now information hum isme nahi ja rahe we are not discussing this isme press centers hai about about gri hai we we going to talk about this and gri ke structure ko dekhenge funding reports contact ke bare mein hum dekh sakte hain but i guess hum log is waqt sirf what is gri ko study karte hain because humne iske bare mein padha hai The Global Reporting Initiative GRI is a non-profit organization that works towards a sustainable global economy by providing sustainability reporting guidance. So the purpose of the GRI initiative as we have discussed earlier as well is onefold. It is supposed to provide guidance for writing sustainability reports kis tarike se reporting karni chahiye guidelines kya hain frameworks kya hain kin aspects par aap karenge Now GRI has pioneered and developed a comprehensive sustainability reporting framework that is widely used around the world. The framework enables all organizations to measure and report their economic, environmental, social and governance performance. The four key areas of sustainability. So sustainability ki jab bhi hum baat karenge ya jo humne baat bhi ki ke ji GRI mein ek jo sustainability context hai ke jo report content mein report content mein kya hona chahiye usme sustainability context ki baat thi. sustainability context is, is going to be a, about the economic performance of the organization the environmental performance of the organization the social performance of the organization and the governance performance of the organization so gri is not only going to cover again yahan par ek cheez bahut important hai ki hum corporate social responsibility ko as a totally alien concept nahi samajh it's very much part of what the organization is doing and since hum hamesha ye kehte jate hain ki ji aapko corporate social responsibility ko apne core values ke sath value foundation ke sath strategy ke sath organization ke fabric mein weave karna hai so automatically since if that is going to be done automatically aapka economic aur aapki governance jo hai wo sath sath chalegi in addition to environmental performance and social performance So sustainability is about economic, social, environmental and uh, the governance performance of an organization. The reporting framework which includes the reporting guidelines, sector guidelines and other resources enables greater organizational transparency about economic, environmental, social and governance performance. So it's all about that you are supposed to report what you're doing. Whether it's your economic performance or whether it's your environmental performance or whether it's your social performance or your governance performance. Ho. 
This transparency and accountability build stakeholders' trust in organizations and can lead to many other benefits. So it's all about transparency and accountability. What you're doing, because uh, the chapter you as an organization are utilizing the resources of the society. When you use society ki resources, use kar rahe hai, then society has every reason or every uh, unke paas, unke, uh, they have the right to ask organizations ke bhai, kya? Kaha hua? Kaise hua? Kya hua? A very small example in this respect can be that when you give your parents money or if you've taken money from your parents and they can ask you, I, I gave you that much amount, where is it? Where did you use it? Kaha istamal hua? The same thing happens with the organizations as well. Or organizations ke cases mein to aap society ki natural resources use kare, society se hi paisa lekar profitability or society ke ko ka hi human capital use karke apni products bana rahe. So after society ke resources teen different tariqo se use karne. Society ka raw material, human capital jo ke society se aata hai aur profitability jo bhi actually society ka paisa hai. So, so when you're using all these things, then again, you have transparency or accountability maintain karne ki zarurat aur bhi zada bar jati hai because the people whose resources you are using, and when I say you, I mean the organization, they have every right to ask you as to where the money was utilized. Was it utilized in a proper manner or not? Agar aap ke ammebu ko pata chale ke aap ne unke paiso se, let's say, chori ke liye saman kharida hai, would they like it? Ya unko pata chale ke aapne unke paiso se, unse paise aapne isle liye because aapne cigarette kharide jo ke aapne aapne dost ko dene the. Would they like it? They're going to say you use our money for such a bad cause. You're, you're promoting smoking. We don't like it. Same logic, same reasoning applies to organizations as well. When they are using my resources, my money for harming my environment, my country and my society, I'm not going to like it. And that is about ke aapki transparency or accountability honi chahiye. Thousands of, thousands of organizations of all sizes and sectors use GRI's framework in order to understand and communicate their sustainability profit, uh, performance. On the Japan, irrespective of the location, the size, the sector, or the industry, organizations use GRI's uh, guidelines. GRI is a multi-stakeholder network-based organization. Its secretariat is headquartered in Amsterdam, the Netherlands. The secretariat acts as a hub coordinating the activities of GRI's many net network partners. GRI has focal points, regional offices in Australia, Brazil, China, India, and the USA. Its global network includes more than 600 organizational stakeholders, which are called the core supporters, and some 30,000 people representing different sectors and constituencies. So these are the 30,000 people jinki expectations ke baale mein aap sochte hain. These are the 30,000 people jinki benefits or jinki needs needs ke baare mein aap sochte hain. GRI also enjoys a strategic partnership with the United Nations Environmental Program, UNEP, hum ne iski baat ki thi. The UN Global Compact, uh, the Organization for Economic Cooperation and Development, International Organization for Standardization and many others. So Z, uh, GRI being the network organization it is, it is, it is an independent organization but it is also working in collaboration with all these things. Now, uh, history kya hai GRI ki? I would want you to go uh, uh, over it yourself and, and have a look at it. It should be an interesting reason, reading. Now, next thing that I need for you to do is that we have the information ki site par the, and information we have GRI ko study kya tha. Next, go to the reporting uh, uh, site and, and go to get started. Now, this should be an interesting thing for you to see. Now, what we're going to do is that we're going to talk about KG Jabab. GRI guidelines ki baat karte hain, implementation of GRI guidelines ki baat karte hain, rather more specifically, uh, corporate social responsibility, uh, ki, uh, corporate social responsibility reporting, keeping in mind the GRI guidelines, it is a five step process. Now, what are those five steps? Those five steps are going to be explained to you in this particular video. It's it's again a very easily accessible video. You don't have to look it anywhere. Up again GRI ki jab website pa jayenge. It's going to be right there for you to see. So it's basically telling uh, the, the organizations and corporation that 
CSR reporting is not that difficult. It's basically a five-step process which consists of all these things. Prepare, connect, define, monitor and report. So report karne ke liye companies ko kya karna hai? That is what this five-step process is telling you about. The very first thing is for you to prepare. Now preparation, jab aap karenge ke report kis tarikhe se prepare karni hai, is mein aapke wo saari cheez jayenge ke aapke material kya hai, aapke stakeholders kaun kaun se hai, in stakeholders inclusiveness ki baat aayegi. You're going to talk about ke ji aapke sustainability context kya hai. You're going to see ke chha, aapke zip sustainability context in terms of economic performance, impacts in terms of environmental and social impact aapne baat kar li. To ye saara ka saara aapke report ka content hooga. And that is what you need to prepare. You need to see the economic performance, the environmental performance, the social performance and the governance performance to prepare a report. Next thing that a company needs to do, it needs to connect things together. Just like the way that you connect dots together, you need to see ke chha, jo hum kaam kar rahe hain, wo humare different logon ko kaise affect kar rahe hain. Us mein aapke stakeholders bhi aa jayenge, us mein aapke, aapke, aapke kaun kaun se groups honge, kaun kaun se entities honge, primary uh, social, primary non-social, secondary social, secondary non-social, aap in sab cheezon ko, in sab ke expectations ko dekhenge, aur aap aap अपनी परफॉर्मेंस को basically uh, 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 analyze karenge with, ref ref with reference to the uh, context of sustainability to see ke ji kis tarikhe se kya ra. So you're just connecting dots together. Ek aapne apni preparation ki ke aapki kya cheeze honi chahiye, kaise honna chahiye, standards kya hai, sustainability kya hogi and then you are seeing ke chahiye, kaun stakeholders ke saath hum kaise connect karenge, how will we fulfill their expectations, hum hum unki needs ko kaise zahen mein rakhenge and how will we communicate with them. So that is what we say is the about connected connectivity ki baat karte hain ya connecting ki baat karte hain. So that is what that is going to be. Now we've done two steps. First up was preparation and the second up was uh, connecting. And again jab aap connecting ki baat karenge, what, it, what you're seeing in front of your screens as well as ke jo aapne cheezein apne liye set ki hain, aapne jo standards apne liye set ki hain, wo actually implement kaise ho rahe hain. So connectivity is not only, will not be only about ke aap apne stakeholders ki need stakeholders ki wants uh, ko dekhte hain, stakeholders ko dekhte hain ki unki expectations kya hain. You're also seeing as to what you are actually doing for sustainability. Aap environment ke liye kya kar rahe hain, aap, aap uh, fuel, agar gaariyo mein fuel use ho raha, especially aap ki bhoat saare jo uh, uh, oil producing companies hain, jo ke uh, aap ka Caltex ho gaya, aap ka Shell ho gaya, they are more and more producing oil uh, related goods jo ke aap ki environmental friendly hoti hain. Similarly, aap आप जब एनर्जी की बात करते हैं तब सस्टेनेबल एनर्जी रिसोर्सेज की बात करते हैं जहां पर आप विंड एनर्जी और वाटर को यूज करना शुरू हो जाते हैं एंड सो ऑन एंड सो फोर्थ ना प्रेपरेशन और कनेक्शन के बाद फिर डेफिनेशन की बारी आती है यू नीड टू डिफाइन अ लॉट ऑफ थिंग्स यू नीड टू डिफाइन कि जी आपकी रिपोर्टिंग कैसे होनी है यहाँ पर आपकी बैलेंसिंग भी आ जाएगी आपका आ, जो हमने बात की कि रिलायबिलिटी भी आ जाएगी और यू विल सी के जी किस तरीके से मैं रिपोर्ट को एक्चुअली बनाता बनाया जाता है उसमें आपकी एक्यूरेसी भी आ जाएगी उसमें आपकी वैलिडिटी भी आ जाएगी उसमें आपकी टाइम दिनेस भी आ जाएगी एंड यू विल बी डिस्कसिंग एंड टॉकिंग विद अ लॉट ऑफ पीपल टू सी के जी आपकी रिपोर्ट जो है वो आइडियली किस किस्म की होनी चाहिए आप क्या करेंगे सो आपने प्रेपरेशन की आपने कनेक्ट किया चीज़ों को डॉट्स को थिंग्स को और इसमें आपके आपके स्टैंडर्ड्स भी आए और आपके एक्चुअल एक्शंस भी आए और आपने डिफाइन करने की भी बात की जी व्हाट आर यू टॉकिंग अबाउट आपकी रिपोर्ट में क्या क्या चीज़ें होंगी किस किस तरीके से आप एक्चुअली अपनी रिपोर्ट को बनाएंगे और आप किस तरह किस तरीके से आपकी रिपोर्ट में कौन कौन से एस्पेक्ट्स जो हैं वो इंक्लूड होंगे रिलायबिलिटी का फैक्टर टाइमलीनेस का फैक्टर एक्यूरेसी का फैक्टर और ये सब चीज़ें जो हैं आपकी रिपोर्ट में होनी चाहिए सो दीज वर द फर्स्ट थ्री स्टेप्स जब आप जी गाइडलाइंस को यूज़ करते हैं फॉर रिपोर्टिंग पर्पजेस तो आप प्रेपरेशन की बात करेंगे आप कनेक्टिविटी की बात करेंगे और आप Define, uh, defining ki baat karenge. Now the fourth step is just going to come very soon and we will have a look at it. Again, this whole short video clip ko dekh kar aapko ye zaroor andaza hona chahiye ke a lot of time companies and corporations would not be indulging in corporate social responsibility 
just because they think that yeah, corporate social responsibility jo is going to be a yeah, corporate social responsibility to hum kar lenge lekin hum reporting nahi kar sakte because it's going to involve a lot of paperwork it's going to involve uh, a lot of 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 writing and stuff and bahut saare log feel karte hain ki ye unka kaam nahi hai yeah, they are not good at it but what this particular video clip or the purpose of showing you this particular video clip is simple enough that अगर आप कॉर्पोरेट सोशल रिस्पॉन्सिबिलिटी इनिशिएटिव्स कर रहे हैं तो आपको रिपोर्ट करने चाहिए बिकॉज दे विल अफेक्ट द प्रॉफिटेबिलिटी ऑफ द कंपनी इन द लॉन्ग रन एंड दे विल मोस्ट इम्पॉर्टेंटली अफेक्ट द द इमेज दैट स्टेक होल्डर्स मेक ऑफ द कंपनी एज वेल बिकॉज जिस जिस तरीके से आप रिपोर्ट करते हैं स्पेशली आजकल के दिनों में जब एवरी थिंग इज इज सिमिलर हर चीज बहुत सब्सिट्यूट हैं सो जब सब चीजें कॉमन हो जाएंगी तो मे बी दिसाइडिंग फैक्टर फॉर अ कंज्यूमर विच इज वन ऑफ द स्टेक होल्डर्स माइंड भी कि कौन ज्यादा सोशली रिस्पॉन्सिबल है बिकॉज थिंग्स आर इंटर कनेक्टेड विद वन अनादर सो आपको द पर्पज इज कि वन अगर आप सोशल रिस्पॉन्सिबिलिटी नहीं करें तो आपको सोशल रिस्पॉन्सिबिलिटी करनी है बिकॉज इट इज गुड फॉर योर कंपनी एंड टू इफ यू आर डूइंग कॉपरेट सोशल रिस्पॉन्सिबिलिटी देन इट इज एक्सट्रीमली इंपॉर्टेंट एंड इम्पेरेटिव फॉर द कंपनीज के उनको रिपोर्ट करें यूजिंग द गाइडलाइंस प्रोवाइडेड बाई सच इंस्टीट्यूशन एज ग्लोबल रिपोर्टिंग इनिशिएटिव ना थर्ड थ्री स्टेप्स हमने पढ़ लिए कि आपने प्रिपेयर करना है आपने कनेक्ट करना है और आपने डिफाइन करना है ना द फोर्थ स्टेप इन द इन द प्रोसेस ऑफ रिपोर्टिंग द कॉर्पोरेट सोशल रिस्पॉन्सिबिलिटी की जो आपने रिपोर्ट बनानी है उसका फोर्थ स्टेप अभी हमारे सामने आएगा वेयर बाय यू वुड एक्चुअली सी के हाउ थिंग्स अब हम सब चीजों को कन्वर्ज कर लेंगे एट अ पॉइंट टू सी के हाउ वुड दे सॉर्ट ऑफ इंटरेक्ट विद वन अनादर और किस तरीके से वो एक साथ काम करती हैं और अगेन दिस इज जस्ट शोज यू कि किस तरीके से आपके सारे इनिशिएटिव विल लीड टू ग्रेटर प्रॉफिट जब आप कॉर्पोरेट सोशल रिस्पॉन्सिबिलिटी की बात करेंगे तो आपकी चीजें बेहतर होंगी और आपका काम जो है वो आसान होगा सो so फाइनली आप मॉनिटरिंग की बात करेंगे कि आप आपको देखना होगा कि जी अच्छा हमने ये सोचा था फिर आपने अपने एक्सपेक्टेशन को देखा आपने कनेक्ट किया चीजों को कि जी ये एक्चुअल परफॉर्मेंस है फिर आपने डिफाइन भी कर दिया कि जी आपकी रिपोर्ट कैसी होनी चाहिए आपकी रिपोर्ट एक्यूरेट होनी चाहिए वैलिड होनी चाहिए टाइम टाइम टाइमली होनी चाहिए तो उसके बाद आप मॉनिटरिंग की बात करेंगे कि आपको एनालाइज अपने वेरियस फंक्शन को और वेरियस एक्शन को करना होगा टू सी के क्या वो हमारी डेफिनेशन को फॉलो कर रहे हैं क्या वो हमारी गाइडलाइंस जो कि हमने सेट की थी कीपिंग इन माइंड जी आर आई इनिशियटिव क्या वो फॉलो हो रही हैं या नहीं फॉलो हो रही एंड देन फाइनली वॉट यू डू इज यू मेक अ रिपोर्ट एंड दिस इज द बेसिकली द फाइव सिंपल स्टेप्स जो कि आपके रिपोर्टिंग प्रोसेस में है अगेन अ क्विक रिकैप ऑफ वॉट दोज फाइव डिफरेंट स्टेप्स आर एज पर द जी आर आई की गाइडलाइंस के द वेरी फर्स्ट थिंग दैट यू नीड टू डू इज यू नीड टू प्रिपेयर यू नीड टू टेल योर सेल्फ दैट यू नीड टू मेक अ रिपोर्ट और यू नीड टू प्रिपेयर अ रिपोर्ट जब आप रिपोर्ट प्रेपरेशन की बात करेंगे तो सारी बात है आप उसमें मटीरियल की बात करेंगे आप उसमें देखेंगे कि क्या चीज़ इंक्लूड करेंगे और क्या चीज़ इंक्लूड नहीं करेंगे द सेकेंड स्टेप इज दट यू नीड टू कनेक्ट यू नीड टू सी वो योर स्टेक होल्डर्स आर यू नीड टू सी के जी आपका सस्टेनेबिलिटी में आपकी कौन कौन सी चीज़ इंक्लूडेड हो रही हैं कैसी हो रही हैं और आप किन किन चीज़ों को कवर करेंगे नेक्स्ट इज यू नीड टू डिफाइन यू नीड टू सी के जी आपका आपका आपको बहुत सारी चीज़ों को डिफाइन करें रिपोर्ट में क्या कुछ होगा क्या कुछ नहीं होगा रिपोर्ट कैसी होनी चाहिए और कैसी नहीं होनी चाहिए सो इन द फर्स्ट थ्री स्टेप्स इज यू जस्ट सेटिंग द स्टैंडर्ड्स ये स्टैंडर्ड्स हैं ये हमारी एक्चुअल परफॉर्मेंस है यू बेसिकली डिफाइनिंग हाउ थिंग्स शुड बी द फोर्थ स्टेप इज मॉनिटरिंग कि आपको आपको ओवरऑल अपनी ऑर्गेनाइजेशन का ओवरव्यू लेना है टू सी के आपकी ऑर्गेनाइजेशन की परफॉर्मेंस जो थी वो कैसी थी एंड फाइनली आप एक प्रेपरेशन करते हो या आप एक रिपोर्ट प्रिपेयर करते हो विच इज द एंड ऑफ विच इज एट द एंड ऑफ दैट फाइव स्टेप प्रोसेस द फाइव स्टेप प्रोसेस इज गोइंग टू स्टार्ट विद इज गोइंग टू स्टार्ट वेन वे बाई यू आर बेसिकली thinking or you've decided or you've taken a decision to prepare a report and the process is going to end when you actually uh, really make a report now once the report is made it's not supposed to be locked up in a safe the report is supposed to be shared with all with all stakeholders rather with the entire world so that people see ki aapki organization ne kya kaam kiya hai with respect to corporate social responsibility so that was the फाइव स्टेप जो आपका प्रोसेस है दैट वॉज जो हमने आपको एक्सप्लेन किया द नेक्स्ट थिंग दैट वी गोन टॉक अबाउट इज वी गोन टॉक अबाउट कि जी वॉट इज सस्टेनेबिलिटी रिपोर्टिंग 
اور اس کو ہم ڈسکس کریں گے کہ جی ہم ہم کس طریقے سے آپ آپ سسٹینیبلٹی رپورٹنگ کر سکتے ہیں اور آپ کس طریقے سے اس پر کام کر سکتے ہیں رائٹ Now, whenever you're going to talk about sustainability reporting, a sustainability report is an organizational report that gives information about economic, environmental, social, and governance performance. So it's, it's an organization report which gives information about sustainability. For companies and organizations, sustainability, the capacity to endure or to be maintained, that is the literal meaning of, uh, of sustainability. An uh, organization کتنا انڈیور کر سکتی ہے اور انڈیور آپ کو چینجز کرنی پڑتی ہیں انویشن کرنی پڑتی ہیں جو جو کچھ انوائرمنٹ میں ہو رہا ہوتا ہے وچ از افیکٹنگ یو پازیٹیولی نگیٹیولی آپ نے اس کو انڈیور کرنا ہوتا ہے اینڈ دا سیکنڈ تھنگ اباؤٹ سسٹینیبلٹی از کہ آپ کتنا اپنے آپ کو مینٹین کر سکتے ہیں اگر اف یو آر پروفیٹیبل کمپنی ہاؤ کین یو انشور پروفیٹیبلٹی بیکاز اف ٹوڈے یو آر پروفیٹیبل اٹ ڈز ناٹ مین دا ٹمورو یو ول بی پروفیٹیبل اگین بیکاز مے بی دا ٹیکنالوجیکل انوائرمنٹ ہیز چینج مے بی سو مینی ادر تھنگز ان دی ایکسٹرنل انوائرمنٹ ہیز چینج سو آپ کو بہت سارے اسٹیپس اور ایکشنس لینے پڑتے ہیں ٹو مینٹین ٹو ٹو کیپ دا پوزیشن وے یو آر ایٹ اٹ از بیسڈ آن پرفارمنس ان دیز فور کی ایریاز اور آپ جب سسٹینیبلٹی کی بات کریں گے تو اٹ از آل اباؤٹ یور پرفارمنس ان فور ایریاز وچ ایز یو ڈسکسڈ ارلیئر ایز ویل اٹس اکنامک اٹس سوشل اٹس انوائرمنٹ اینڈ اٹس گورننس اینڈ انکریزنگ نمبر آف کمپنیز اینڈ آرگنائزیشن وانٹ ٹو میک دیر آپریشن سسٹینیبل کامن سینس ایوری بڈی ورڈ Establishing a sustainability reporting process helps them to set goals, measure performance and manage change. So, when you talk sustainability reporting, it is about setting goals, it is about goal set and you have to measure your performance measure and see how close or how far away they are. If they are close, then that means your organization is doing great. However, if the distance between the actual performance and the goals is far, then you need to make certain changes. And, and then, when there changes, honge, then you need to take measures or you need to sort of uh, make strategies so that the change is managed properly or chaos or confusion. Ko, uh, it does not give way for chaos and confusion. A sustainability report is the a key platform for communicating positive and negative sustainability aspects. So that is what is important, transparency and accountability. جو ہم صحیح کام کر رہے ہیں وہ بھی ہم اپنے سٹیک ہولڈرز کو بتا رہے ہیں اور جو ہم غلط کام ہم سے غلطی سے ہو گیا یا ہمیں نہیں کرنا چاہیے تھا جس کے لیے ہم نے کریکٹیو میجرز بھی لے لیے ہیں آپ وہ بھی انڈر دا کانسیپٹ آف ٹرانسپیرنسی اینڈ اکاؤنٹیبلٹی اپنے اسٹیک ہولڈرز کو بتا رہے ہیں To produce a regular sustainability report, organizations set up a reporting cycle. When you do financial reporting, you have an annual cycle from 1st July to 30th June. You have an annual cycle from 1st July to 1st July to 30th June. You have an annual cycle from 1st July to 30th June. You have an annual cycle from 1st July to 30th June. You have an annual cycle from 1st July to 30th June. You have an annual cycle from 1st July to 30th June. You have an annual cycle from 1st July to 30th June. You have an annual cycle from 1st July to 30th June. You have an annual cycle from 1st July to 30th June. You have an annual cycle from 1st July to 30th June. Now, the reporting cycle will contain all these uh, uh, activities, data collection, communication, and responses. This means that their sustainability performance is monitored on an ongoing basis. Data can be provided regularly to senior decision makers to shape company strategy and policy and improve performance. So, you have continuous monitoring, and that is again, that substantiate what we've discussed earlier, that when you talk about sustainability reporting, you talk about corporate social responsibility, You will not just do it for a limited time only. It's going to be an ongoing, long-term process. And when we say that you have to corporate social responsibility, to integrate in your strategy, mein, policy, mein, vision, mein, mission, mein, values, mein. It's important because once you are integrating your CSR with all these important things, then automatically your operations, your processes will eventually آپ کی پرفارمنس جو ہے وہ بھی افیکٹ ہوتی ہے سسٹینیبلٹی رپورٹنگ از دیر فور اے وائٹل اسٹیپ فار مینجنگ چینج ٹوورڈ اے سسٹینیبل گلوبل اکانمی ون دیٹ کمپائنس لانگ ٹرم پروفیٹیبلٹی وتھ سوشل جسٹس اینڈ انوائرمنٹل فلیئر سو ہم نے جو بالکل پہلے لیکچر میں بات کی تھی کہ جی اٹس ناٹ دیٹ ویٹ اگینس پروفیٹیبلٹی ایز این ایڈوکیٹ آف کارپوریٹ سوشل رسپانسبلٹی آئی ایم ناٹ اگینس پروفیٹیبلٹی وٹ آئی ایم سینگ از دیٹ یو or corporations, they need to combine long-term profitability with social justice and environmental uh, care. Next is that we can, we can do a little, uh, we can talk a little more about the GRI reporting. Sustainability reporting can be considered as synonymous with other terms for non-financial reporting. Now, sustainability reporting is non-financial. 
kitna how much money the organization earned how much money the organization spent it does not cover such areas so sir bahut sara intangible aspect aa jata hai aur isme aapne triple bottom line ki humne baat ki thi ki hum financial bottom line ki baat karte hain aap social bottom line ki aap environmental bottom lines ki baat karte hain sustainability reporting is part of that the, that particular thing it is also an intrinsic element of integrated reporting integrated reporting is kya financial reporting bhi karenge aap environmental reporting bhi karenge aap uh, corporate social responsibility reporting bhi karenge and when you combine all these things together that is what sustainability uh, reporting is now major providers of sustainability reporting guidance is hum ye baat aap se pehle bhi discuss kar chuke hain kaun kaun log uh, who have helped gri in developing the guidelines usme aapka uh, oecd ki guidelines hai united nation global compact hai aapka jo international organization for standardization iso ka 26000 principle hai that is about international standard for social uh, responsibility uh, i might just go through the iso 26000 as well but uh, just to be on the safe side it is better ki aap usko apne end par uh, research kar le next thing what are the benefits of it An extremely important thing jab corporations koi kaam karengi they will see the benefit of they they have to see or they have to evaluate ki hamare har action ka बेनिफिट क्या है ना प्लीज लेट्स नॉट बी वेरी जजमेंटल लेट्स नॉट से कि जी ये गलत है दैट्स नॉट ट्रू आई आई गेस हम कोई भी एज एन इंडिविजुअल हम कोई भी काम करते हैं मोस्ट ऑफ अस एक्चुअली वे कि जी मेरे एक्शन से मुझको क्या बेनिफिट मिलेगा एंड एंड अगेन ऑर्गेनाइजेशन डू द वेरी सेम थिंग नाउ हैविंग सेड दैट कि जी ऑर्गेनाइजेशन को बेनिफिट देखना है वॉट आर द वेरियस बेनिफिट अगेन हमने कॉर्पोरेट सोशल रिस्पॉन्सिबिलिटी का बेनिफिट जो कि ऑर्गेनाइजेशंस को मिलता है वो हम डिस्कस कर चुके हैं बिकॉज अगेन जब कॉरपोरेशन सी एस आर एक्टिविटीज इनिशिएट करती हैं तो उसमें ट्रस्ट बढ़ता है लोगों द ऑर्गेनाइजेशन इज पोर्ट्रेड एज एन ऑर्गेनाइजेशन जहाँ पर इंटेग्रिटी बहुत ज़्यादा हाई होती है एंड ऑटोमेटिकली आपके स्टेक होल्डर्स का की गुडविल ज़्यादा बढ़ती है और और दे फील गुड अबाउट अ पर्टिकुलर कंपनी एज अ रिजल्ट ऑफ विच दे बाय मोर ऑफ दैट कंपनीज प्रोडक्ट बट लेट्स सी के जी आपके बेनिफिट्स जी आर आई के क्या हैं an effective sustainability reporting cycle should benefit all reporting organizations internal benefits for companies and organizations can include increased understanding of risks and opportunities so whenever you're doing sustainability reporting especially with reference to economic and governance aapko exactly pata chal jata hai ki aapki risks kya hain aur aapki opportunities kya hain because don't get confused here that sustainability reporting is only about csr reporting it is not it is about csr report it is about social reporting it is about environmental reporting but then it is also about economic reporting as well as uh, governance reporting emphasizing the link between financial and non financial performance so a uh, bahut a very close relationship is established ke aapke jo non financial performance hoti hai wo organization ki financial performance ko automatically uh, impact karti hai in a positive way influencing long term management strategy and policy and business plans so when you're using these guidelines automatically they will influence the strategies that you make the business plans you will make and have the strategy policy or business plans mein in guidelines ko permanently incorporate karte hain which is which is simply good for the company streamlining processes reduce cost and improving efficiency that's another thing that the these guidelines would do benchmarking and assessing sustainability performance with respect to laws norms codes performance standards and voluntary initiatives so it's basically can be used in benchmarking ye benchmark hai ye standard hai which companies need to uh, uh, achieve and the standard aapke liye show ho jayega uh, again uh, maybe a small example which might explain to you this is that if i say that you need to kick my hand and i and i have my hand here you know ke ji is point in type tak mujhe ab kick karni hai and and that becomes your objective because you're going to try or give your best kya kick kick mere hath tak pahuncha on the other hand if i don't have a hand in front of you i don't tell you ke ji yahan tak then aap aap apne paon ko jitna bhi uthaiye it won't really make a different you you just raise it an inch and break it down that's going to be good enough lekin jab ye again usi concept ko lete hue jab ye gri ke guidelines hote hain they use as a benchmark they use as a as a as an industry benchmark it this is what what you are supposed to achieve and those companies ke liye wo phir bahut motivation bhi hoti hai wo challenging bhi ho jata hai ki ji this is it humko ye cheez zarur achieve karni hai aur automatically aapki achievement zyada 
गोल ओरिएंटेड हो जाती है अवॉइडिंग बींग एम्प्लीकेटेड इन पब्लिसाइज एनवायरमेंटल सोशल एंड गवर्नेंस फेलियर ऑटोमेटिकली जब आप गाइडलाइंस फॉलो करेंगे जब आप रूल्स फॉलो करेंगे जब आप रेगुलेशन फॉलो करेंगे जब आप कोर्ट्स फॉलो करेंगे दैन द चांसेज ऑफ द प्रॉबिलिटी ऑफ योर ऑर्गेनाइजेशन डूइंग समथिंग रॉन्ग इज गोइंग टू बी मिनिमाइज वेन योर ऑर्गेनाइजेशन इज नॉट गोइंग टू डू समथिंग रॉन्ग सो आपकी आपकी पब्लिसाइज इन्वायरमेंटल फेलियर्स नहीं होंगे आपके पब्लिसाइज सोशल फेलियर्स नहीं होंगे और आपके पब्लिसाइज गवर्नेंस फेलियर्स नहीं होंगे जस्ट बिकॉज यूर फॉलोइंग गाइडलाइंस एंड रूल्स कंपेयरिंग परफॉर्मेंस इंटरनली एंड बिटवीन ऑर्गेनाइजेशन एंड सेक्टर्स बिकम्स वेरी वेरी ईजी बिकॉज आप सेम स्टैंडर्ड्स को यूज कर रहे हो गए अक्रॉस द बोर्ड वैन एवरी कंपनी is going to use the same standards for reporting purposes and that means ki unka material bhi similar hoga unki report ke jo chapters hain wo bhi similar honge aur report ka content bhi similar hoga as a result of which the, the comparison between companies uh, with respect to uh, sustainability uh, factors is going to become very very easy what are the external benefits of sustainability reporting the external benefits are mitigating or reversing negative environmental social and governance uh, impacts you going to know ki aapke actions ke negative impacts kya hain and automatically aap unko reduce kar sakte hain improving reputation and brand loyalty aap uh, again jab aap uh, social responsibility initiatives karenge ya sustainability initiatives karenge automatically aapki goodwill zyada increase hogi aapki credibility zyada increase hogi the stakeholders will will think of your organization in a very positive light as a result of which aapki brand loyalty bhi badhegi aur aapki reputation bhi behtar hogi enabling external stakeholders to understand company's true value and tangible and intangible assets such self explanatory demonstrating how the organization influences and and is influenced by expectations about sustainable development so that is what we here we do i guess the last thing that i would want to show you on this website is let's go to this who should report ye jo aapki sustainability reports hain who should make those sustainability reports now sustainability reports are released by companies and organizations of all types sizes and sectors so irrespective ki aap kahan located hain aapke organization ka kya size hai aapke organization national ya international level par hai ya kis sector ya kis industry mein hai every organization in the world can use these guidelines to make sustainability reports thousands of companies across all sectors have published reports that adopt some or all of the global report reporting initiatives again it's not necessary ki agar main gri ke guidelines use kare to mujhko mujh par compulsion hai ki ya to main sab use karu ya main koi use na karu i can if i cannot handle all then main ye kar sakti hu ki main kuch uh, apply kar lu aur kuch apply na karu ideally to ye hai ki main sab apply karu but then depending upon the size the location the industry and the sector shayad main kuch apply kar saku kuch na apply kar saku so basically aapki uh, depending upon ki aapki company kaisi hai aap sare ya uh, some of the global reporting initiatives ko use kar sakte hain for sustainability reporting uh, for sustainability reporting public authorities and not profits are also big reporters अगेन आपकी पब्लिक अथॉरिटीज में भी और आपके जो नॉट फॉर प्रॉफिट ऑर्गेनाइजेशन हैं या एनजीओ हैं इवन दे हैव टू रिपोर्ट देयर सस्टेनेबिलिटी इनिशिएटिव्स फॉर द सिंपल रीजन के रिमेंबर हमने सूडो एनजीओ की बात की थी ताकि हम उस पर्टिकुलर थ्रेट को या उस पर्टिकुलर डेंजर को खत्म कर सकें हु शुड स्टार्ट रिपोर्टिंग एवरीबडी दैट्स नॉट अ क्वेश्चन दट यू शुड आस्क जी हु शुड रिपोर्ट किसको रिपोर्टिंग करनी चाहिए एवरीबडी हु इज डूइंग अ बिजनेस चाहे वो सिर्फ बिजनेस नहीं आपके नॉट फॉर प्रॉफिट ऑर्गेनाइजेशन एन जी ओ स्मॉल मीडियम लार्ज ऑर्गेनाइजेशन मल्टा नेशनल ये क्वेश्चन ही सही नहीं है कि हु शुड रिपोर्ट एवरी वन शुड डू रिपोर्टिंग वाई बिकॉज ट्रांसपेरेंसी इज ट्रांसपेरेंसी एंड अकाउंटेबिलिटी इज समथिंग दैट वी look for gri works to make sustainability reporting a mainstream activity we would want people to uh, use sustainability uh, uh, guidelines to make sustainability reports taaki aap isko as a mainstream activity karna chahte hain aap ye nahi karna chahte ki ji this is an activity uh, that you pursue or this is an activity that you do when you have free time aapke paas time hai nahi hai resources hai nahi hai the reporting should be done and it should be one of your mainstream activities just like ki aapka finance marketing operations procurement sales these are all your mainstream activities of your organization and you should make sustainability reporting uh, as one of your mainstream activities furthermore uh, for this to happen for sustainability reports to become a mainstream activity uh, growth uh, 
for this to happen, growth in reporting needs to be exponential. That basically means if you want sustainability reporting uh, to, be, to become a mainstream activity, aapki a large number of organizations should start reporting. Kya jo aapka annually hota hai ki ji is saal kitne logon ne report kiya, agle saal kitne logon ne report kiya. There should be a large increase in that numbers because when everybody will start reporting, obviously that will tell people and that will convince the 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 people who criticize reporting ki ji bhot important function hai. Kya aap apni organization sales ke bhagar chala sakte? Kya aap apni organization promotion ke bhagar chala sakte? Nahi chala sakte. Simple reason is because everybody feels reporting is important if you don't you will feel you will feel awkward you will be the one uh, you will be the only one who will be left out when a large number of people will, would start uh, sustainability reporting then you if you're not doing sustainability report, reporting would automatically feel that I'm the only one and you would automatically be tempted or pressurized in a positive way to do sustainability reporting GRI's guidance is designed to be used by all companies and organizations and can play a major role in the future of all organizations uh, reporting. So that is KG aap kis tarikay se reporting aapko kis tarikay se mainstream uh, karni chahiye aur kaise usko uh, holni chahiye. Now the last thing that we're going to do is GRI and sustainability reporting. Uh, GRI believes that multi-stakeholders engagement is the best way to produce universally applicable reporting guidance that meet the needs of report makers and users. Now, this is one aspect that we've discussed in the earlier chapters as well. Do you have a global consensus develop karna hai regarding corporate social responsibility and regarding corporate social responsibility reporting? Now, global consensus is not very easy to develop. And you global consensus tab hi, uh, develop kar when you have multi-stakeholders engagement. Ki the multi stakeholders hunge, large number of diverse stakeholders hunge, jab aap unki expectation, unki needs, unki wants to cater for karenge. So automatically you will be able to produce universally applicable reporting guidance that meets the needs of report makers and users. All elements of the reporting framework are created and improved using a consensus-seeking approach and considering the widest possible range of stakeholders' interest. So when GRI is making guidelines, they use a multi-stakeholders engage engagement approach. A large number of uh, diverse stakeholders are used and there consensus is developed. Sab ka input leka, sab ki feedback leka. Then you are making guidelines where you have a wide variety, ya a wide range of stakeholders ke interest ko uh, fulfill karne ke baare mein dekhte hain. Stakeholders input into the framework comes from business, civil society, labor, accounting, investors, academics, governments and sustainability reporting practitioners. So this is just an example ke jab hum kehte hain na ke ji multi-dimensional uh, ya multi-dimensional stakeholders approach honi chahiye, multi-stakeholders engagement honi chahiye. These are all the stakeholders uh, from which hamara uh, aap input lete hain aap feedback lete hain every year increasing numbers of reporters adopt gri's guidelines from 2006 to 2011 the yearly increase in um, in the yearly increase in uptake ranged from 22 to 58% so jane to uh, 2009 ki humne aapko lecture mein example di thi jahan pe 60 countries mein 1500 companies thi uh, this is a much better figure from 2006 to 2011 aapka almost 58% ka rise hua in companies who use the GRI guidelines for reporting purposes. New audiences for sustainability information like investors and regulators are now calling for more and better performance data. Annual growth in the number of reporters is expected to continue as GRI works for more reporters and better reporting. So I guess I'm going to end my lecture here and I would want you to think about this because this just shows you that Aapki corporate social responsibility kitani important hai because hamara hum hot hum log as individuals kya hote hain ki hum bilkul ostrich wale attitude ke saath rehte hain. Sal ko mitti mein dala and you're not really concerned about what's happening around you. And it is organizations such as this, websites such as these that just show you ke ji ek ek concept which is so important and then again I'm not saying ke Pakistani companies are not involved in CSR. Aap aaj kisi multinational company ko dekh lije jo ke Pakistan mein operate kari all of them would have a very separate link on their websites jo ke aapke uh, aapke is kisam ke CSR initiatives ko dekh raha but the point is that it's not about the multinationals only. You have small, you have medium, and you have large national companies. You have to incorporate CSR. Ko incorporate karna hai. 
और इसको यूज करना है सो दैट दे वर्क फॉर द बेटरमेंट एंड द वेलफेयर ऑफ द सोसाइटीज एंड कम्युनिटीज एंड जस्ट थिंक कि अगर ये सारे अपने अपने काम करना शुरू हो जाए सारी कंपनीज कॉर्पोरेट सोशल रिस्पॉन्सिबिलिटी इनिशियटिव कर लें डोंट यू थिंक पाकिस्तान इज गोइंग टू बी बेटर प्लेस सो मेनी प्रॉब्लम इट वी आर फेसिंग उनमें से कितनी रिमूव यूर रेक्टिफाई हो जाएंगी सो विद दैट पर्टिकुलर थॉट आई एम गोइंग टू से माई गुड बाय एंड द नेक्स्ट लेक्चर आई विल सी यू इनशाला हाफिज़